Hey, and welcome to renovation vlog number three. This will probably be the last one that I do because I don't have much left to do. It's just kind of doing like the finishing touches. Um, I still need to get like a new fireplace and stuff, but I feel like that's gonna take a few months because I just can't find one that I like. I've literally looked everywhere for the type of fireplace I like and they all seem to be like out of stock with like a really long wait or they're just not in the price range and I wanna pay for it because I don't know, I don't wanna pay a lot for a fire when I've already got one. You know what I mean? But I thought I would start things off with an Ikea haul because I went to Ikea like two days ago. I'll put the switch in now. For the vlog. Do something funny. That's not funny. Disgusting. That was disgusting, I know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. How do I look? Have a big couple. I can see you by looking at the phone. The black, I don't know. These right, these right here. Black again, black again. Ooh, black. You are not getting off on the escalators. So I let go, Babs. He's squash doggy. So I didn't get too much and some of it is actually upstairs, but I got some new rails for my wardrobe because upstairs I have like a walk-in wardrobe. I don't really like calling it that, well I suppose it is. People have smaller ones, but yeah. I've got a walk-in wardrobe. I bought some new like clothing rails to go in there um, that just like screw into the wall and then obviously you hang your clothes off. I got four of these so that I have like one on each wall because it's like a square room. So I've got one for each wall and then a second one to do like a second shelf. So I got this for Bentley's treats because I painted the kitchen black. If you don't know, um, you'll see it in my other vlog, but it's just like a little black um, like airtight jar to keep all of his treats in. Three of these for my tea, coffee and sugar. Um, when next time I go, I think I'm gonna get two more because I need one for coffee mate and hot chocolate. So I just moved location because I thought it would be a little bit better to film in my room because I just think the lighting's nicer in here. But as I said, this video is sponsored by June's Journey. I am so excited about it because this is literally a game that I've played for such a long time. My granddad's wife used to play it, I think on her iPad, I'm not entirely sure. And I used to love it then. I've always loved these like hidden um, object games. Like I love it. I love looking at the different scenes because they're all so beautiful. And I love like using my brain power to try and uncover things. And it's kind of like one of those nicely frustrating things and you can't find it and you've really got to look um i feel like you're kind of using your brain a lot more than you would be with a different app because you've kind of got to uncover things and just do you know what i'm saying like i feel like with a different app where you're just like i don't know shooting things or driving around you're not really using any brain power trying to achieve anything with this you get to follow june's journey and like uncover things with every chapter and it goes in chapters so you learn more about the story and june's journey and everything like that so i really love it so as you find the um hidden objects you will find clues within the hidden objects which will kind of give you more info to help you know progress in the game i just really enjoy it and it's a game that i spend a lot of time playing and it really helps me unwind i just really really love this game it's completely free to download i've played it for such a long time now and i'm so excited to be working with them because i can't believe i'm working with a company that i've literally used for such a long time it feels like forever that i've been using this app so I'm, i love that i'm so excited as i said it's completely free to download and it will be linked in the description let me know in the comments if you do download it this is literally the only game i play i'm not even kidding like i love this i'm not really into games but this this one I really really enjoy and I've played for such a long time because as I said I feel like you're actually doing something and achieving something when you're playing it you're not just like running around like erratically 
this is literally one of the only games that I play and enjoy. I just find it kind of therapeutic and a way to like unwind and I love looking at the beautiful settings you guys know. I love interiors and it's always in like a really beautiful background setting surroundings. It's lovely. Um, and sometimes it can be really frustrating and challenging trying to find the hidden objects because it does get harder obviously as you progress. So yeah, it's completely free to download and I will link it in the description. Please let me know if you download it because I honestly love this game. It's the only one I play. So I think you guys will really enjoy it too. I usually play this before bed, so I'm going to restrain myself right now because it is very addictive and I'm going to go and put up my new wardrobe rails. Fingers crossed this goes well. I've never like put a raw plug in and then tried to put a screw in there, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. Okay, let's open this. Hey guys, so it is the next day now and some changes have been made so I thought I would just show you around. Is this zoomed in? Little. Okay, so please ignore the colour difference. I can't put fake tan on my face, I know that I look balmy, but yeah. Um, in here, you probably won't have to see very well because it's very dark. Um, I have my rail up. Yeah, you can't see. I think you can actually. So I've got one rail here, I'm getting one. It's like a really tall cupboard up there right the way up there and that's me for like winter stuff and i'll just like change it around um i think i'll have enough space in there which is good the bathroom is pretty much done it's all painted it's been uh papered with lining paper which um we're having a little trouble with because it's lifting in some areas um so that needs sticking like back down there but it looks so much better it looks so much cleaner there were so many bumps across the wall that were just really irritating me and now it just looks a lot smoother. Um, I need to put my mirror up here, but other than that, it's all been glossed and everything. All been glossed. New uh, fluffy rug from Ikea. Feels so good. Show you my wardrobe situation. So I now have these rails fitted. One is really high up there, which is like my lesser worn clothing. So I've done one rail for like clothes that I don't wear too often. And then this is like my second rail for clothes that I do wear often. And it's all color coded into categories. So it's like black to white in dresses, black to white in blouses, black to white in tops, and then black to, well, black to <laughs> creamy browns in um, jumpers and cardigans. So it's all organized nicely so i know what is there and then up there i just have like extra storage obviously it's not the prettiest but i'm just doing what i can i'd rather have this which isn't like visually pleasing like tucked in a wardrobe I managed to get it up this is what it looks like and then either side are two like pictures are going there like in black frames i'm going to attempt to put the mirror up now which i'm a little bit nervous about because yeah that wasn't very easy <laughs> so hopefully this is easier um because that was stressful so much of this stuff i'm joking but this is the mirror i really like it um i think it looks really nice i think i've centered it quite well above like the sink and stuff so i'm really happy with that um but i don't know if you're able to see through here yeah you can it's like hanging off the wall so that is my deal i need to fix that but it's a really nice mirror so that's really cool. Perfect. Okay. And on the back of it, there's like these things. I'm so scared to move it in case it like falls out the wall. There are these things to hang your necklaces on and I don't have anywhere to put mine. So that's cool. And these like obviously bend. So if you bend them, you can like see the sides of your face and stuff, which is really nice. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it's just gonna come crashing down at any moment. I'm scared. And like, can you see why I have like this thing now? Like, oh, I must fall over. It like goes with like the black, and then like the black metal mirror, and then this with the um, candle inside it. Like, yeah, I feel like it just goes. I'm gonna try and do something with this so that it's not hanging out the wall because I'm really scared about it. Hey, it's a new day again, even though I'm wearing literally the same thing and I probably have my hair the exact same because I I'm a repetitive person, but I'm in the hall right now. I'm just about to put these pictures up that Chuck made, and I'm gonna put them here with the mirrors. So I'm not 100% sure where to put you right now because my hallway is quite long. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I feel like you can't tell how big this house is on camera, but it's like the ceilings are like really, really high, and um. Everything just feels long and like distant. Like you wouldn't, it's kind of like a TARDIS. You wouldn't think it's so big until you're actually in here. Maybe you can tell, but I I don't know whether to put this shelf, which I actually have from Desenio, underneath these mirrors, 
or to get a radiator cover. I'm kind of indecisive because of the picture rail. This has been painted black, by the way. Um, it needs another coat, but for now, it's like this. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just trying to line these mirrors up. you might have noticed about me is all of my pictures are completely wonky i do not have the capacity to have pictures that are even if you're wondering when my hair's tied up it's because i had it done yesterday and i'm just not used to it so i just keep tying it up because i'm like what do i do with all this hair now it is the struggle of trying to line these up with each other because i cannot do things like that for the life of me Oh, that looks so cute! I love that. That looks really sweet. I'll show you. This is what it looks like. I, you can see they're just they're just wonky. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. But these are the pictures. They look so sweet. I love that. It's like a little moment. And I think I'm gonna get a radiator cover there. I'm pretty sure. Just to put like my keys and my perfume and stuff, so I don't forget. Yeah, that looks really cute. I love that. That's adorable. Do you guys like it? The house is looking so nice. So pretty. Oh, my stuff here. But yeah, my frame still haven't come to put these pictures up, but they'll be coming soon. Yeah, it's looking so good. So happy. I have still not found um, a fireplace that I like. I'm like pretty much given up now. I think I'm trying to wait until lockdown's like lifted a lot more and then start going to like car boots and stuff like that and like vintage things to try and find a fireplace because I can only find modern ones and I don't want to be spending like a thousand pound on a fireplace, you know what I mean? Like I'm looking up to like 300, I guess, for a fireplace um but i don't i don't like the really modern looking ones like this one in the lounge i would love that in my bedroom but with different color tiling um but i can't find anything like that obviously so i've been looking for like a log burning fire or something like that with a mantelpiece um and i just can't find it so i'm gonna start looking at car boots and stuff like that i don't think i'm gonna be getting it anytime soon because lockdown it hasn't lifted like that yet and also um ah, almost dropped you and oh it's a light on here and also I've been looking for ages and I've not found anything, so I feel like it's going to take a while, but that is the house right now. I love that. That looks so sweet. I need somebody to fix those mirrors because I just cannot make things even, but yeah, I'll catch up with you when something else happens. Oh, okay. Sorry. Honestly, I think working with influencers is the most frustrating thing in the world sometimes. But I have some packages here, so I thought I would open them with you. It is all home stuff. I always worry so much. You can see my dress when I do these unboxings. Ah, it's all going on. But I got the... Uh, oh no. So I've got this, which I think is slightly the wrong one. This is gloss black paint. When I was supposed to have matte black paint, and I'm pretty sure I ordered matte black paint, so that's a little bit weird. Um, but I can use this anyway, so I'll probably just order some more matte black paint because I need gloss like my front door um, and like skirtings and stuff like that. So if this is, yeah, okay, this should be fine. It's just gloss black paint. Okay, I can use that, it's okay. Um, and then in this one, I have, this one I have matte varnish because I'm going to varnish my kitchen cupboards. As you guys saw, I painted the matte black, which I thought this was the matte black paint, but apparently it's not. So I'm going to um, order some more matte black paint and then varnish it so everything's like locked in and sealed because the matte paint is kind of like hard to... The paint on its own is kind of hard to clean, but because that's a matte varnish, it should seal everything in um, and then just work really well. And then I also have this big box here from Desenio, which I am so excited about. You guys know I love Desenio. I am so excited about this. I do have a discount code for you guys, which I will put on screen right now. I love it. So I have some prints in here that I will show you. I will show you some of them and then I will show you them once I've put them up. So I have this one of the Eiffel Tower and then I have this one, which is a woman like on like a scaffolding, like reading the newspaper, which I just think is so cute. The exposure is a little bit high. Um, and the next one has a little bit of nudity. So I'm gonna wait until it's in the frame and it's like further away before I show you because I don't want this video to get demonetized. But I, I love this picture. And before anyone says, oh, it's so inappropriate, it's not inappropriate. 
Chuck is completely fine. He has seen boobs a million times. So like, it's all good. Don't worry, it's fine. And then I got these frames for this one to go into and then the small one for the little Eiffel Tower picture to go into and these are going to go above my bed. And then the other ones, I've got a Bridget Bardo picture and stuff like that and I'm not sure where that's going to go. And I also got some frames. Um, does anyone do the best frames ever? Like they do frame sizes that nowhere else does and they are such a good price on frames. I searched like forever to find frames and Desenio consistently came up like best price, like compared to everywhere like Ikea. Desenio had the best prices like by far. So if you guys are looking for frames, they're also a great place to go, but I literally love the prints from Desenio. They're such nice quality. You always know you're gonna get really like outstanding quality. Um, I just, I mean, look at it. It's just so nice. You guys know I love Paris. It holds such a special like place in my heart. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to put these all up and then I will show you them when they are on the wall. I'm going to put the Vogue Italia and the other Vogue with Audrey Hepburn above this so far. So this is what it looks like in here. So I have these two Vogue pictures. <laughs> the fact that that is so wonky is like kind of funny to me. Then I have these. And then I decided to put this one here. I just thought it looked really nice and just filled the space nicely because I feel like it just looked a little bare. Um, so it's a very woman heavy room uh but i'm not complaining i am honestly in love with this woman is she not just the most beautiful thing in the world wow she is gorgeous love that um i mean audrey hatbun is like audrey hatbun but like when you put them side by side it's like love you b what's your number okay i am absolutely in love with this so i've gone with like a black and white theme for above my bed all of these pictures are from desenio apart from this one this is from paris but oh my god do you guys love that? I think that looks so nice. <laughs> it looks, I am literally in love. I'm so happy with how this looks. I like couldn't be happier. I think it just looks gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I love these. Let's give you a little close up of all of them. Some of these I've had for a really long time. Some of these are brand new, but I just love them. It's looking so nice. My little bench, my mirrors. Oh my God, I'm in love. It is so nice. I love it. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because there's not really anything else going on and if there is I can update you in like my weekly vlogs and stuff like that but I really hope you guys enjoyed I've had so much fun filming these house renovation videos let me know if you guys have enjoyed it as well um but yeah I'm really happy with how my house is coming together and how it's looking and everything so I hope you guys are too thank you again to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video don't forget to check the link in the description it's literally like my favorite app it's like the only game I play on my phone I'm addicted to it now it's so much fun and I'll see you soon with a new video bye